Strawberry shortcake is one of the most classic desserts out there and today I'm going to show you a healthier and less sugary recipe and includes all three delicious layers, tender shortcakes, juicy strawberries and freshly whipped cream and without sacrificing the traditional flavor you love. Let's start with strawberries and for best flavor use fresh strawberries that are in season. Remove the green caps and cut your strawberries in half, in quarters or in slices and place in a mixing bowl. You don't have to use sugar to make your strawberries juicy, I do that with just one tablespoon of sweetener. I prefer honey but you can use maple syrup too and also add a little bit of lemon juice. Stir all that together and this goes in the fridge to sit for a while. The strawberries will release their juices creating all natural delicious syrup to drizzle over your biscuits. Can you use frozen strawberries? Yes, but this recipe is all about the fresh flavors. Now on to the shortcakes, instead of white flour I use ground oats which adds to the nutrition and also tastes better. I want light and tender shortcakes so I'm going to add some cornstarch and one part spelt flour but you can use rice flour too. Then baking powder for a good rice and fluffy texture and salt to enhance all the flavors. For best shortcakes you're going to need a really cold or frozen butter and I grate my butter just like I did last week when I made my blueberry scones, by the way you can check for this recipe in the description below. Love this technique, gives fine and crumbly mixture all the time. Or do that with your pastry cutter, food processor or just rub with your fingertips. Anyway these tiny pieces of cold butter will create more tender shortcakes. When it comes to liquid ingredients let's keep it simple, 1 cup milk of your choice or just enough to hold the dough together and 1 tablespoon maple syrup instead of sugar. Stir until a soft dough is formed and no dry flour is visible, it should be sticky and not crumbly. These are drop biscuits so you don't have to roll out the dough or use any cutters, just scoop out quarter cup dough and drop them onto a line baking tray. I like this simple method because it creates these tiny peaks that will brown and crisp in the oven. And also you don't touch the dough too much so the butter won't melt before baking. In the oven it goes for about 15 minutes until puffed and starting to turn golden brown on top but without getting them too brown at the bottom and you can prevent this by using two baking pans placed one inside each other. Once baked let them set for 2 to 3 minutes and place on a wire rack to cool completely. Then the most important thing serving, so let's back to the toppings. The juicy strawberries are ready, now to the whipped cream, either heavy cream or coconut cream and it should be made just before serving. Add your cream that is cold from the fridge, some good vanilla extract or vanilla paste and teaspoon to tablespoon honey or maple syrup, depends how sweet you like it. And forget about cool whip, this homemade whipped cream is the real deal. These are fluffy and tender biscuits, as you can see it has a nice crust on the outside but they're really soft on the inside and you can make these ahead of time and serve in minutes. Just slice the shortcakes in half, I find a bread knife works best for me, then a heap tablespoon of strawberry filling, these lovely juices will soak into the cake and make it moist. Top the strawberries with some whipped cream, cover with a biscuit and do it again with cream and more strawberries. Also you can skip this whole whipped cream part and top with any creamy yogurt of your choice or you can eat these for breakfast like scones with some butter and your favorite fruit jam, either way it's delicious and guilt free. This shortcake is so good, it's one of my favorite ways to enjoy fresh strawberries. It's not overly sweet, love that nutty old flavor and all the flavors just blend together. But if you need something to grab and go, you can make these delicious strawberry cheesecake muffins. They taste like dessert but they're filling and you can enjoy them for breakfast too. Check out that recipe now. Thank you so much for watching, see you in another video. Stay healthy, stay happy.